Originally I was planning to release a funny April Fool's joke, but Northwood actually released so much information and I'm not talking only about the devlog, no. They've released so much information that I've decided to make two videos for one week. Okay, firstly, 11.2. SCP-1853 is going to be added in the game. AK, it's monster energy drink. After drinking it, actually you don't drink it because you don't know how to do that, you become a CSGO player with the drawback of having a stamina of one. And also my dear friends, 244 is being re-added to the game. The drug base is back. I mean it was back before, but now it's back even more. Drugs are now more powerful and make you more relaxed. And guns get drugs too. So you know what, it's a win-win. Honestly, why did they remove it in the first place? I have still no idea. And also 096 can no longer do a little bit of trolling with it, so that's fun. Shotgun isn't garbage anymore. Only one pellet of the current shotgun is actually using collider rollback, aka only one pellet actually deals damage. And now there is a new attachment that can waste shotgun's ammo twice as fast. So if you ever thought to yourself that, oh boy, I think my 14 bullets is a little bit too much for me, there you go I guess. There are new pedestals and hotkey improvements, because it actually remembers the history and things like that. I don't care. And boys, grenades can finally be disarmed. Yeah, pee pee. Bullet. No, no, no. I, I just activated the grenade. I don't know what to do. 173 space is now very, very audible. I would appreciate if you could do it a little bit quieter there. Crossveg now has an additional magazine type so that you will now have to spend even more time on the stat screen, optimizing every single gun combination you have saved and then die to a team killer in the elevator. Light containment zone is getting new layouts and finally new win conditions and insurgency win. Now when we're done with all of the information that everybody knows about, let's get on to the other things now food unveiled. 12.0 aka the surface zone update. I don't know why people are so excited about it, like just go outside, there you go, surface update. And with 12.0 hopefully there will be new character models. We've seen the D-class for quite a long time and the scientist I guess. But now finally insurgency and MTF models are done. And no that is not from Half-Life, shut up. Tutorial is now pink. Elevators have been replaced by the entirety of the entrance zone in order to allow for hexagon spaces, I guess. The spectator UI is now actually useful, and spectators might be finally able to view first-person animations. We still don't know if their system actually allows for that, but yeah, we finally see the beautiful reload animations instead of this. And now, the moment you've been all waiting for. The crouch. Crouching is an experimental feature which will most likely be removed from the game. Do we really need more hiding spots? Like, like do we really need more? And also just imagine like an entire MTF squad crouching around the dog. Yeah, that's realism for you. Overwatch is now going to be its own separate class. And if you don't know what that is, honestly I'm not surprised nobody uses it. But if you use it, you don't. Yeah, you are now able to use legs in remote admin and finally Northwood are experimenting with replacing dissonance voice chat with their own solution because they they really really don't have anything else to do. Okay, jokes aside, uh, according to Unity Asset Store guidelines, and I know a little bit about the Unity Asset Store guidelines, okay, every tool asset has to be purchased for every single team member. And you know, when you consider the size of Norfolk, like, it's, it's like, it's, it's like, it's like this tiny, 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 small, it's a bit expensive. And the new solution uses the same codec as Dissonance voice chat, and hopefully it doesn't have to do anything with Vivox voice chat. <laughs> <laughs> and the new solution might even allow to control voice chat volume per person. No clip now uses hubes per second instead of nothing. And if you don't know what hube is, hube is basically the equivalent of one unit u unity unit. No, I was about to make fun of this, but actually, you know what, I think I would prefer saying Hube. What kind of an idiot actually came up with the name Unity? Anyways, at the time of you watching this, I am currently in hell. So, that's it for today. Well, bye, stranger.